guys, Justine Leslie here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I am going to be doing, uh, for this particular video, the reading the energy of the upcoming week um, of January 12th, looks like through 18th. Um, each slot means something particularly different um, as far as uh, what messages I'm looking for. I am using the Angel Oracle deck here by Radley Valentine for this particular spread, um, actually the whole thing. So I will read the cards. I'm an intuitive uh, reader. I will read the cards um, as I unfold. Uh, flip them over and um, I will obviously tell you beforehand um, what it actually represents, what the slot re represents. Um, guys, if you want to know about these weekly videos, please subscribe to my channel, okay? All right, so the first one here, uh, guys, is the strengths of this week. So one thing I definitely want to point out is that last week, um, and I'm going to do a romance one as well. I'm going to start doing a, a, a specific weekly romance, even though there's a, a card here for romance um, and love. But I've been feeling a little bit of, um, and I don't even want to say dark energy. I want to say energy of separation and letting go. Um, we just had an eclipse in a full moon, so I have a feeling that has something to do with that as well. Uh, but I just want to say light and love to everybody going through a separation or letting go of some kind. It is one of the hardest things that you'll ever have to do in your life is let go of anything. Um, obviously, um, detaching from something is super difficult. So light and love to you guys. Um, but other than that, I feel the energy. Um, I also felt the energy of... Um, a good level of acceptance like we're all accepting where we are and that's the most important thing that we can actually do right now um, is uh, accept how how things are and what the reality is right in front of you right um, so I see a lot of that so I wouldn't be surprised if that was kind of the theme uh, coming up for the week but let's go ahead and start and uh, see what we got here okay okay so this came up, uh, okay, so this is actually the strength for the week. So where can we see you being the most powerful and where can we see um, uh, you succeeding the most? And this basically is saying choose a new direction. So what I'm actually getting from this card is that the power and the strength actually lies in uh, you making the power to decide. And what I mean by that is that it feels like a lot of you guys, and this is something else that's been coming through, so I'm not surprised that it came through on this reading already, um, is that we're forgetting that we can choose our reality. Um, God, universe, um, uh, how, uh, Gaia, uh, Mother Nature, source energy, divine source, however you want to explain um, your higher power, um, basically is only here you know and our angels right or other entities including our our, our guides and, and things like that our ancestors um they're all here for support um and for guidance right um while we're actually having this human experience um we have extra guidance right uh but that's what it is it's guidance um and that's why they call it, that's why i call what i do spiritual guidance and all that good stuff is because this is just um however we can say it, recommendations, opinions, advice, um, when you kind of break it down. And obviously this is more connected to what your soul is calling for. So that's what the, you know, our angels, ancestors, universe bounces off of. But here's the thing, guys, we have the choice. So that's why I actually do not believe in destiny. And I believe in more of um, you create your own destiny, right? Um, I believe a lot of things are, um, well, I do believe absolutely 100% that we're all connected. And certain things happen to us for a reason. 100%, I believe everything that happens to us, it happens to us for a reason. But we're forgetting, um, we have forgotten that we have the power to choose. We choose our reality. Everything in life is a choice at the end of the day, including happiness, including our emotions, including our thoughts, um, and all of that stuff, right? So that's, that's the controllables, right? Those are the things that we can actually control. Um, and the strength this week, um, and here we go so you guys can see, it feels like you guys are coming into this reality, which is amazing because now we're saying, okay, we can now take control of our life. So if there's something in your life that's not working or it actually kind of feels like, and I can relate to this, um, I'm part of the collective consciousness too, um, is that we're really deciding um, that we're – we're making the choice to make a different choice. Um, and that is the strength of the week because I actually see a few different decisions happening. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, that uh, are going to be coming up from you uh, and you're going to be very powerful in your um, – in where when you come from a place of choosing. So that's really awesome. Um, cool, cool. Okay. 
So our weakness for the week. What is not so great uh, coming up for us? Okay, this is interesting and it makes a lot of sense. So basically I got the take action card here. So um, just because we can make the, the power to make a different decision doesn't mean that you have to make the actions right away. So what I mean by that is just like be easy on yourself. If you're empathic, a lot of people that follow me are. Um, I know that we're not exactly spontaneous people, okay? And I totally understand that. And and there are, you know, blips of time in our lives where we are more spontaneous than usual, but usually um, we have to do a lot of deep thinking, um, a lot of deep feeling before we go ahead and make a decision. Um, so that's why um, I'm saying that just because you decide something doesn't automatically mean um, to take action right away. So that so basically, I'll give an example. If you decide, okay, I'm quitting my job and I'm going to be out by the end of February. Um, this is not what I want. And then you start working on your resume or whatever. Um, yeah, you are taking action in that in that aspect, but you don't have to take spontaneous action. This is actually more about pointing to spontaneous action. Um, so that is the weakness of the week because um, it's not technically a weakness, but it's something that you're not going to see. So don't think that, uh, you know, just because, you know, we we're getting in our power and we're saying, oh my gosh, we're making decisions that are more aligned with me and all that stuff, doesn't mean that your life is going to change in a week. Everything takes time, guys. And if you're an empath, don't beat yourself up if you can't make decisions on the spot. If you did just quit your job, if you did just spontaneously get out of a relationship, decide and then walk out the door, more power to you. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. And that's actually rare. Um, so that is extra amazing. So you're super strong, but that's okay. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that the other way is, a, is necessarily a weakness, which is why I put it in quotations, right? But I don't see a lot of huge action this week. And again, totally okay. Okay. So this one's about romantically what's happening, uh, in the next week or so. Okay. <coughs> we have peaceful resolution. So romantically, I feel, like I said, guys, about last week, what was coming up towards the end of last week um, is that I saw a lot of separations and things like that. Um, I couldn't tell if the separations were uh, chaotic um, or, again, the only feeling that I really kind of got from that was pain but also acceptance at the same time. So if there has been um, any uh, chaotic fighting or uh, really tumultuous uh, arguments or something along those lines, it is definitely coming to a peaceful resolution this week. Um, this is actually pointing to people that are in a romantic relationship. I'm not necessarily picking up anything uh, for people being single. Um, the word peaceful just sticks out to me. So what I'm gonna say then for that is that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, <clears throat> sorry guys, I keep coughing, um, <clears throat> is that uh, it's still going to be peaceful for singles, which means that there's not really too much going on. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what you wanted to hear um, or not, but again, the angels tell us what we need to hear, not what we want to hear. So I do not see like any coupling coming up this week or um, uh, meeting any soulmates or anything like that. Um, again, I will do a romance reading and get more in depth into that uh, for the next video. But but peaceful resolution for those that have um, maybe recently separated or are in romantic partnerships. Okay, so this is work-wise. What's going on work-wise? <clears throat> okay, so forgiveness. All right, so what this is actually pointing to for this week is that there's going to be something, um, the word resentment is actually coming up. So. Um, it feels like those that are really unhappy with their jobs or if you, um, and this is the majority actually I'm getting for the collective consciousness, if you're not uh, happy with your job um, or like there has been like a, a resentment kind of building up. Um, this week I see it going um, in the opposite direction where we're starting to re release a lot of the resentment. Um, ways that that could possibly happen is that, um, again, going from the first card here, how we, we are now more into a consciousness of understanding that we decide our fate, we decide, we make the decisions in our life. Um, it could be something along the lines where it's like, we have decided to stay at this job. Um, maybe some of you really need the money or maybe you guys really need the benefits or whatever it is, but it's still a choice at the end of the day. So it's about, it feels like forgiveness, um, is going to be coming when, um, Forgiveness, uh, 
mostly for uh, how the job has made you feel or um, if you feel like I feel like a lot of stuck energy, um, but that's going to uh, alleviate this week for sure as well as the resentment um, because we are going to be taking accountability for our decision. So um, I definitely see gratitude coming through as well with this card. So you could definitely cultivate more gratitude, which will make work a little bit more satisfying for you, but that's what I see for this week. So I actually see it as really positive. So we're going to switch those emotions, right, this week. Um, we're going to release a lot of the resentment um, and only forgiveness coming in. The way to prepare for this, um, I'm getting a ping to tell you guys, is to um, definitely um, work on opening your heart chakra. Anytime we get anything that's forgiveness, compassion, anything along those lines, um, we need to uh, really make sure the heart chakra is open enough for us to receive it. So, okay. Clarity. What do we need clarity on this week? Okay, recovery. Okay, so what we need clarity on, guys, is um, the idea of recovery. So actually, this is actually bouncing off a little bit off the work stuff because, um, you know, and I actually live in New York City, so I see a lot of hustle and bustle all the time, and people working 60, 70 hours is not uncommon. But what I actually see as far as... Um, recovery goes what it actually is saying that we need clarity on what recovery actually means so part of actually the resentment this like i said i feel like these two could be connected is that we're not giving ourselves enough rest from our work or um uh whether we're trying to start a business and have a full-time job or something along those lines but i feel like a burnt out type energy coming through here but we are unclear or not allowing ourselves as the collective consciousness to really be in recovery. Like, guys, we have to, especially if you're empathic, I don't care what anybody says, you really can't neglect your self-care. You really can't. Um, it's not possible. That's how you operate. You are operating by taking in feelings um, of other people. I mean, I know there are different strategies where we can stop that. But basically what's happening here is that... Um, we're, we're on the go, we're on the go, we're on the go. Again, this could be related to work. It could be you're trying to start a business, whatever it is. But we are, there's a lack of clarity about what recovery actually means. So remember, guys, when we can rest, we can do a better job later on, okay? Because nobody wants to uh, be so burnt out that we're snapping at people or so burnt out that we're not doing a good job and we may miss something, right? If you have a really important job, right? What happens when a surgeon doesn't get enough sleep, okay? Um, somebody's life is on the line, okay? And maybe not a lot of you are, are in industry like that but still there are still ways that you can prevent things like that um, errors all that stuff there is such thing as emotional burnout and there's such thing as working burnout so think about what recovery means to you guys this is the clarity that we need to um, figure out this week and I can definitely see you guys figuring it out um, maybe that means a vacation maybe that actually does mean leaving your job and making a plan to do so uh, but or cutting your hours or whatever it is but I definitely see um, that that light bulb moment like that that understanding that oh yeah I do need recovery so actually that could be triggered too not to scare you guys or warn you guys or, or anything like that but I wouldn't be surprised if a big work mistake did happen this week uh, or um, uh, you really messed up on something, got the times wrong or something like that. Again, this is pointing to recovery. So that's what we need clarity on. Recovery is actually good and it's essential, especially if you're empathic. Okay, what do we have here? Um, okay, strengths, weaknesses, romance, work-wise, clarity. Guidance. I missed something. Hold on one second. Uh, okay, personally. Okay, so this one is actually going to be personally. Um, so this is our personal life. This could be something um, that uh, is pertaining to family or friendships or something along those lines. Okay, sorry guys. I got a little distracted. Okay, Interesting. Okay, so this one comes up, um, and this is definitely our angels coming through. Look for a sign. Okay, what does this actually mean? So this actually means that um, there have been signs that you possibly have been missing. And why it's coming up in this slot with the personal stuff um, is because there's a sign pointing to how you can... Uh, where you need to go as far as your friendships... Uh, 
are concerned. And that could absolutely mean that the angels might be warning you that somebody around you is not exactly, um, like the word deceit is actually coming up for this, um, but it's not exactly who they say they are or is not exactly, um, I don't want to say not exactly your friend, but also like look at the connection. So the other thing too is that I'm very, very um, big on toxic relationship healing and conscious relationships, right? And basically, uh, um, how do I say this? Uh, we need to make sure that we're being conscious even in our, you know, relationships, but I'm talking friendships too. That's a relationship, okay? So basically what's happening here is that um, it's, it's telling you to take a closer look. Like you're, you're almost missing the signs. And it's almost like it's becoming a little bit more obvious this week that maybe your friendship with this particular person is not exactly where you want to go in 2020. It's still early in the year, guys. We still have choices. And the other thing, too, that I want to add here is that just because someone's not obviously toxic does not necessarily mean that they're not aligned with where your soul is going or what your soul is calling out for, right? And what I mean by that is that we don't have to drop people just because they're toxic. Maybe they just do not uh, fit into our lives. And I don't know how many times, um, and I know it has happened to me, is that where friendships just fall off because we really have nothing in common. That happened a lot during the spiritual awakening. Um, that we really weren't connected on something deep and something true, right? I'll use that word true. That's why we really need to be very conscious about the relationships that we have, um, and especially the friendships. Guys, we become like the five people, that most like the five people that um, we spend time with. And uh, that's definitely, um, if you're very much into energy, and I'm sure that you are because you're on my channel, uh, you know that that's true. So think about that, guys. And I wouldn't, and I would pay more attention to the signs. It feels like not necessarily a friendship is kind of breaking off this week. Again, this goes into the take action card. I don't see spontaneous action. I don't see big action this week. Um, I do see more of a realization, uh, a perspective switch um, about uh, about your friendships, and basically look for those signs for sure. Okay, now. This is just general guidance for the week, um, how to get through everything. Um, okay, so general guidance for the week here is let go. So basically um, what I'm getting from this is that, um, and like I said in the very beginning, it definitely felt like a lot of you were letting go of relationships, and this is actually particularly romantic relationships that do not serve you anymore. Um, this is pertaining to that, but this is also pertaining to pretty much everything else. Um, and what I mean by everything else, I can give you personal examples. For me, I'm learning that watching a lot of TV is not serving me anymore. Watching a lot of news, keeping up on um, things politically is not really doing much for my energy. And this is really kind of what it's saying. It's saying, um, you know, look at the things in your everyday life that you're doing. How are they affecting your energy? Um, how are they, uh, you know, I mean, along with people, right? Um, energy, um, how people make you feel, um, your feelings, um, uh, what else? Basically, like, really pay attention to, like, how things particularly make you feel, right? I figured out my TV watching doesn't really do anything for me because really what it's trying to do is numb me because I'm so emotionally exhausted in other areas of my life. That doesn't really do anything for me, right? It's entertainment purposes, but I can find entertainment in different ways. So that is something that I'm working on letting go of. It's super hard. Again, I do not see any spontaneous action this week, so it's okay if you can't get rid of a habit or if you did and you maybe slipped up. Um, I definitely see a lot of that happening this week as well. That's okay, all right? The hardest thing, and I've said it in the beginning, is letting go of anything at all, okay? Letting go is super, super hard, and that's what we need to really understand, um, is that this is a lifelong process, um, and this week, it's okay if you do a step back, okay? Um, if you slip up, right? And I do that quotations because mistakes are um, not really mistakes, they're learning experiences, right? So be easy on yourself as you go into this week, trying to let go of the things that no longer serve you. Okay, now, this is what we can do to heal this week. Um, okay, this is, this is interesting. Um, I have reconsider, and this is an interesting card because um, I don't like the idea of like doubting your decisions because and I'll repeat what I said in the beginning again, we all have choices to make, right? And we everything is a choice. Now, I, I actually didn't say this in the beginning. 
I believe that there are more choices that are aligned and then there are more choices that are misaligned. Uh, but I always believe that you're co constantly on the path. So when I get this card, it kind of feels like you're trying to say that the path isn't the path. I know that's not exactly what's happening here, but I kind of get triggered a little bit when, it, when I see this. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that. Really what it means is that you, it, it's important for you to um, make sure the decisions that you're actually making, right, because we are starting to make decisions this week, um, are actually rooted in love and not necessarily fear. And when we pick the, and we make the choices out of love, anytime we choose love, um, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, so think about the things that are, the decisions that you're making, even the, the little ones where, um, and I think I'm understanding why this is coming up because I'm thinking of an example. Um, you want to lose 15 pounds, you want to be good to your body, you want to nourish it with really healthy foods, and, uh, you know, you go, you try to decide whether you should eat that chocolate cake or not. Um, sometimes um, you want to treat yourself because you were so good all week, um, or sometimes you just want to emotionally eat. That's really kind of out of fear, right, because that's on the negative vibrational scale. Um, so we need to really look at literally every decision that we're making and making sure that we're making it out of love because that will actually put us more on an aligned path than a misaligned path. But again, always the path. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so that was the weekly reading. Um, I hope you guys got something out of that. Please write in the comments um, if you agree, if you disagree, um, if it resonates, whatever it is. Um, I'd love to um, hear what you guys have to say. So um, I will post this and uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye.